The first one was the old French song, which I think I played expressively. Um, the rhythm wasn't too slow or too fast. Maybe it was a tad too fast, but I think I played that well. The second one was a disaster because I tripped, Why was it disaster? I tripped a lot on my hands, you know. Um, I missed some notes. Uh, it, I, I was too worried. Uh, I was too preoccupied on getting the correct notes to bother too much with like, oh, uh, I say this? Dynamics and motions, you know. And um, there were some problems with fingering. Mm -hmm. And the third one, I played decently. Uh, what does that mean? What was the I don't really. One? The third one was the um, uh, the movie. Mm -hmm. So that was a bit. That was fine. I don't really remember it that much, but I recall not doing it that bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it, I I think you pleased the audience because that got the most clapping, didn't it? Right. So I would say that your program was a success. And uh, I'm glad you played, so thank you. Yes. All right. So it was a fun to play. Now we have to uh, just hear your guild again, because it is a week from Sunday. Sorry, sorry to uh, just, but um, uh, I got your email, but just in case I got the... Yeah, I have, I have it. Yeah. I told you I did get to print it out. So, yeah, um, sorry I didn't have it on Sunday. Uh, forgot to print it. Yes, I, I um, have it here. And I had a question on, on this. What does that mean? Uh, rhythm and blues. Okay, R and... It's a genre and... But you said R and... Is that B? Yeah, that's a B. Oh, R and B. Okay. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I wouldn't use that if I were writing a report to someone that didn't Ne necessarily well, okay. know what you're talking about. No, because usually when uh, I like look up the music, it's listed as R and B. Yeah, yeah, so you might say rhythm and blues. Yeah, yeah. I would say that like would be a clearer. Or something, yeah. All right, and then I guessed that, but I didn't think it was wise to do that here. Then the other thing, look at your first sentence. So look at that and see what it says. Just read it out loud. Ray Charles was perhaps the greatest musician of the past century. And what did I say? Exclamation mark. No, I said a word there. Wow. Yeah. That's quite a statement, isn't it? But, um... So how could you have made that um, perhaps a little more relative... I mean, music is music, and we have an awful lot of music in the 20th century. Musician, it's because that the a thing that was really great about him is how fast he was, you know? He was in so, his, so he, many genres. Uh, he was very talented. Uh -huh. He was one of the... He Also on a social standpoint, he integrated the music industry, you know? He, uh, he helped... De 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 segregate the music industry, which was very big. Mm -hmm. um, he was president of popular culture. Uh, um, that you explained. Yeah, yeah. In, in the in the movie, mm -hmm. and so maybe saying that he's one of the greatest. Well, musicians. one of the greatest. Be careful when you say things like that. Yeah. Because, you know, we all have opinions. Yeah, I was embellishing. And yes. You could have even said, to my mind, Ray Charles. You see, mm -hmm. then it is a little better. Because to just say that this person was perhaps the greatest musician in the past century. I mean, we've got Rachmaninoff. Mm -hmm. We've got all kinds of musical genres. Also, you didn't sure. limit it to jazz at all. You said one of the greatest musicians. See, that's an enormous amount of music yeah. for just one man. I would have thought, in my mind, he was one of the greatest jazz musicians in the past century. Now you've got it with your opinion and you've narrowed it down at least to the jazz field. Mm -hmm. But just to say that Ray Charles was perhaps the greatest musician of the past century, that's why I said, wow, 
You see? Mm. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. So be careful about your writing. And I did appreciate understanding more about it. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I said yes on George on my mind because we all identify with that with him, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to take away from Ray Charles. And, mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, because I agree with no, you that Carl, he, it's, it's he was one of a kind. But we had to have, yeah, right. you know, in the way of your writing it, you need to be yeah. careful there. Yeah, you're absolutely Because right. it needed to be in your own opinion as well as narrowed down at least jazz. And then none of us would have really any question about that. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see. We have your notebook somewhere here. All right. So what I'd like to do today is have you get pack this in because here is your guild schedule. Oh, and let's put this um, report in your red folder before I lose it. Now let's just stick it in there because that's nice. I'm glad you did it. Okay, and then you can go get the, the stapler, just the stapler, and we'll just tack this on top of this. Okay, so here it is. Because this is your um, this is your schedule for the guild, okay? And it says for you, I've got you at two fifteen to two forty five. Oh, on Sunday. Do, yeah, it's a week and Sunday. Week yeah, it says um, May fifteen. So be sure that your family sees it. Okay, now I spent a great deal of time with uh, your brother on the chords. <laughs> you know, so I think you're better off on that condition, but I'm going to mix up the four pieces mm -hmm. and we'll just go through it with the scale, the chords, and the piece and we'll make some comments that are going to be on there. Then we can go uh, to something else, all right? But I, I wouldn't feel um, that I would be um, right if I didn't hear everything. So you have four pieces. Um, the judge will probably pick the order. Mm -hmm. We don't know who it is yet. It may be a man, maybe a woman, I don't know. I have no idea. They didn't give me the name yet. So let's just see. We have uh, the boot step. Do you know the key for the boot step? That is in... Minor. Okay, let's see. Did, what did you say it was? D minor. D minor. So you can do a, a D scale with the crescendo, diminuendo, and the beautiful pants. <laughs> If I were your judge, I might give you a point off because you missed two two things. Now, why was that? Um, I mistaked it with, I guess, the major. I'll do what I did with your brother. <laughs> what are the chord, primary chords that you need in this in this key for D minor? There's D minor. Uh, G minor, D minor, uh, uh, A major, A7, and D minor. Did you think that before you started out? No. And so, did you call for the chords as well, or did you just play them? I played them. Mm -hmm. Un well, it's dangerous. 
I mean, if you really want a good score, I would think that you'd call for them and take your time and not rush. Because if you did, those mistakes wouldn't have happened. I guarantee you, right? So I'm going to let you call for the chords once more. You were really rushing them. counted just that one as a slip and I wouldn't have kept, counted you off you knew it immediately so now how can you be successful uh, under pressure uh, count, uh, not count um, call for the chords and uh, slow down exactly see that's a that's the one thing you need to do for success all right, now you're going to play the key in the piece in the key of D minor. Okay, you got the trill on the wrong note, so it doesn't put you in. Right in the right, in the, okay. The bass is not with where it needs to be. Okay, so you go to D here, I think. So put D in there, bass, right? Yeah, mm hmm. Okay. That you're needing. You, you're not answering my question. It is D. And what is the dominant? <coughs> What's the dominant in D? Uh, the dominant is. Count up from D. B flat. Just count up five notes in the key of D minor. From D. Count them. Well, so that's what you missed. The dominant. D, A, D. Right? Right. But you didn't think that way, did you? And got all fouled up. Try again. Did you practice this hands alone a lot? is not on the right notes. Yes, and that should be on what? Oh, with the left hand. Where is the music? Is it here? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness. Boots that. Is it in here? Yeah. Okay. So. No, not there yet, but it should be coming up, right? Not yet. There it is. Okay, so didn't we say A is what you're missing in the left hand? A. Well, no, it's A, E, A. Right, right, A. We said A. See? But it, but it isn't, it's um, D here with A, but we're not there. The problem occurred here. And it's A major that you're going to. But we lost it right here. Do you understand why you're missing the notes here? Yeah. See, we're in the key of D. 
and here's the dominant, A, E, A. But that was not the problem. I think had you got this right, yeah, but it happened right here because this trill was on the wrong note, which set you up for the wrong. Yeah, see, and you didn't get to A major. Hey, wait a minute. See, that's what the problem was. We didn't get this right to put you into A. Okay, so once more from the beginning. and we never get those. E, F, now the trill, right. And fit that with the E. E in the bass. Okay, all right, so let's hear the first section once more. That's what you started to, but it's E, F, and now the trill. Yeah, but what happened was you didn't play the E, the F for the second half of the two eighths. You played E and went into the trill. Yeah, okay. Once more. more challenging music than you believe. You have to know your left hand correctly. Your problem was you went to an A, and that sets you up wrong. It's F to F, octave, then it's B flat, G. G! That's the problem. It's not that good. There's no A in there. Okay, now, when you practice it, you do have to have the right rhythm, too.
this middle part. That's why it's so hard. Can right you do hand. the right hand? C. What key are we in, by the way? C. Mm. What is relative to D minor? Wait a minute. You didn't answer my question. Mm. What are we doing now? F. We're in F major now. And you know, what is its uh, dominant? It's C. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Goes A. You gonna play the chord there? It's F major chord. No, it's A C F, isn't it? Right. F major A C F. It's right two three. Now we're back to E minor two three. Okay. All right. So we do know the right. We know the right. We don't, but know, I the don't left. know the left. Okay. I'm going to give the piece to you. I, I mean. Um... I recently memorized the um, second part, and so I guess I, the, but right, you didn't that the take left it. hand just like slipped out of memory. Well, you didn't take it enough repetitions. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that now. Thank you. This is Just all repetition. related. No, but think what you're doing. Correct. What is it? Correct. F, octave, and down to what? B flat to G is a third. That's what you did miss. Now, what is this? Next. What is, what is C to F? G. G. I thought it was an octave. And that's what I'm talking about. You should be able to see we're in F major now. So do that much. Two. Three. Two. Okay. All right. So we got that much because you suddenly realize yes. what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Now what happens? It goes to B flat. This is all scalar to here and down by third. But what is this? No, it's much more. There's look, this is this is three counts. One, two, three. Oh, these are separate. Well they are. Just the left hand.
so that you know it's a C. Now it goes what? Yeah, it's just rhythm there. You're not realizing that it's just one, two, three, one, two. Okay, once more. You're getting it. Now, now you're really thinking about what you're doing. Just it was by interval, yes, octave here, whatever. But, but it was like also dominant and uh, exactly because we're in the key like of F I know major that C now. Is the real, like F is the real thing. Okay, major. now you can put your hand, hands together there. trip you up as a pianist your fingering if you if you allow yourself to miss one it's not in your right it's in the left it's an octave okay you know what's happening to your playing you know what's happening as well i'm going sloppy you're going faster and faster hoping to just get through it somehow i guess psychologically i don't know Slow down. Give yourself a chance. What, now, wait a minute. Look at the music now and fix it. There it is. You, you are going for it now. memory. See if any of it sticks. No, no, you, you skipped over something here in the left hand.
last measure on line four correctly in the left hand. Last measure of line four. Left hand. Left hand. When you got to B flat. Yeah. I didn't hear those. Yeah. I didn't hear after B flat. I didn't hear anything. So think it through as you're doing it. Look at the left hand. It, it doesn't go to C here. Yes. Go on now. Yes. Now you're thinking. Now it's C. You know C. you learn after B flat in the left hand? After B flat, where? Here? Yes. I tend to just go back. Yeah. I skip over the fourth. Down a third. That's what you want to say. Up to C, and now we know, no, it, it goes to F. You remember the dominant? through. Okay, now you're not going to rush it, are you? Nope. Okay, play it beautifully. Yeah, you know it's an area you've practiced all week. the same thing that you practiced, sure. which is wrong. And what's under it? Yeah, but what is that? What is the note under the E, F? It's the second measure, second... Yeah. Again, you missed the F. E, F, trill. You know, and you don't even think A. It's A here. And you didn't get it, did you? No. So, slow down. beginning now. Wait a minute. Wait. Relax. Relax. Now take a deep breath. Now focus because often your fingers go but your brain is not directing them. You have such a good mind, David. That's why I want to really challenge you to think. It's a new measure for the second measure Second system. It's a trill. It's a before the trill. It's E F, and then the trill. Underneath it, what is it? Left hand. Mm, there is. A what note? E and then D. It's just a step. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So when you get there, focus on the. You are going to say that's what it is. All right. Now from the beginning. Don't rush so. You tend to rush away.
this now. But if you want to play it well for the guild, under pressure, I think what are you going to have to do? Some practice. Slightly. But how? Are you just going to go through it? No, no, no. Lickety cut, both hands, that's it. No, I just, Hopefully it's I, there. Hands right? alone, a lot to memorize. But, but thinking about the memorize. intervals yeah. and what it represents. We're in A now, or now we're in F. Mm-hmm. Right? Or now it's in D, and etc. Because you know the chords. Right? Okay. So, I hope by next week. Next week is your assessment lesson. And I hope that all these pieces are... We'll hear your program then, because it's the next Sunday. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So, um, hopefully we know what... Uh, what the keys are. So if I ask you to play your um, sonatina, what key is that? That's a C. Okay. Come on. Okay, the chords. What are the chords you need? C major. Don't play them. Tell me. F major, C major, D major, D7, and C major. C, F. C, F. Don't you play? play? No, I'm waiting for the dominant. What is it? C major, F major, C major. G major, G7, and C major. Okay, now play them. slowed down, you called for them, and it was great. I'd give you A+. Plus. Okay, now play your Clemente beautifully. you can see because you did the preparation don't play this too fast this week yeah get the music out now and then yeah practice the hands alone never yeah. take anything for granted oh I know that right you know this is the way the musician has to act do everything possible so that when he's playing, he can do well. And you did. Okay. 
you have the beautiful Tchaikovsky. So what key is that? That is in G minor. Okay, what are the chords that you need? That is G, C, G, D major, and then uh, G. D7. D7, and then G minor. Good. So let's play the scale first. Remember the... I think you started probably too high. And you didn't think about the fingering. well is not correct because you ended it well but you had problems with the left hand fingering and if I were being meanie I would count you off yeah because when you came down in one octave or two yes that's what you did you know so you know slow down no it's four that Thought and yes, not rest. Okay, do your chords and then we'll play your piece. Ray Charles knew all those chords. Yes. yes, he did. And he certainly did improvise on those chords whenever he wanted to. Yep. So aren't you glad that you know those chords? He added a few, too. <laughs> the jazz chords, right. Okay. It's just that uh, sometimes you're pedaling right here. We broke the, mm. you know, be careful. Play the cadence. With pedal. Right. Uh, and, and softly. We agreed, right? It's C major, isn't it, for the boogie? Yep. And you've, have you played a I've C? I've played that, yes. Okay, so... Play the boogie.
the last time you really took the music out and studied these chords as well as these chords here, 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 and here. We did that one in, no, did it, we, we did it one time in practice and that's the last time I've done it. And you miss them often, yeah. like one note is wrong. Do you want to play this well or not? No, I don't. Huh? I, don't I don't want to play like that. Surely you well. can do that. Would you play the chords? Um, this one? No, this one. No, 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 no. This chord. Put it up there. So, just play the chord. Right. And what's the next chord? And the next one? The next one that's circled. The next one that's circled. No. This one here. This one. Alright, and then and then the next. Alright, would you play all four of these correctly? So, Alright, and the next. And the next. And the next. And the, now the next. Mm -hmm. And the next. And the next. That's it. Okay. Now would you play here these chords? like you to do is play it with your left hand. Okay, so I'd like you to start here. Yeah, that's uh, probably here. Yeah, that's good. This week I'm gonna work on the boot stut and how how uh, hands alone slowly then putting it together. Well, and what about slowly and hands alone? How about I the need left to pay hand? attention to like the, um, the intervals. Yeah, the intervals. For example, that 
at this uh, the per uh, the um, in the key. Yeah, in the key is a relative of uh, of the Timurian. Yeah, of the D. And then uh, the how C is the dominant. Uh, no, or F whatever, is, yeah. whatever key you're in. Mm -hmm. And then you put the hands together slowly. Yeah. In mm -hmm. other words, you're excerpting the part the part that you don't know. Yeah. Then you go from the beginning to end several times. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else is missing in your program? Well, well this we need to pay attention to the, uh, the chords. Get the music out and find out what are those chords that you sometimes get and sometimes you don't, right? Mm -hmm. And slow it down yes. so that and, it will um, be together. The, um, the dance, uh, like, s sometimes I do something with the pedal at the last chords, so I need to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, and the uh, Clementi, I need to slow down. Well, what you're going to do is recheck, leave nothing to chance, yeah. under pressure, all kinds of things go, as you know. So if you want to play well, don't just whip through all these pieces, done in 10 minutes. Think like a scholar. Go back over your work carefully, looking at the music. Do I really play this correctly? Left, right, together, you know, and get there, by the way. You don't just say, oh, I know all my pieces, I'm red. We don't know. It's up to you. It, it knew you're only as good as your last performance and that may have been as good for one piece maybe not for the other okay so I leave that with you and what did we think about the scales and chords oh I need to call the scale uh, not the scales call the for chords, the chords and, and slow, slow them down. down yeah I could to have all these unwanted slips mm -hmm. forget that we can do it and the scales? The scales, I need to crescendo to the top and yes, crescendo Yes, and the be sure that you understand oh, yeah, that where, where the, the fingering goes. pattern is before you start and where you're going to place your hands so that you come out right, mm -hmm. not too far or whatever, right? All these little things. Mm -hmm. Now, next week is an assessment lesson. What we does, will hear with a parent, either one of you, um, right? I would be. Oh, you're not in here. Chicago. Okay. Will Stefano come? Stefano, I don't know. Well, I somebody ought to come. I think. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I am at a conference. Would be very nice. Okay. Well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, if if possible. That's okay. Fine. And then I'll hear your program for the last time. Yes. And then I give you the uh, control. Yeah. Great. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I've given the schedule for him. It's uh, right here. And David uh, and Jacobo are listed. By the way, listed. David, uh, when do you go to... To New York? Mm. No, 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 don't, don't, no problem. Um, it's next week from Friday to Saturday. Uh, but Friday you have your lesson, David. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to have to just forfeit it if you're out of town. Okay. Uh, we, we, we. Hmm. Okay. Well, then you have to be very careful about what you're doing. Yeah. Because he has the yeah we because he has his uh, he's going with the school mm -hmm. to New York. Well, we usually let them just go. Friday and Saturday. But the fifteenth. Yeah. Wow. Okay, uh, here's the schedule. Uh, so I May have uh, day it's May six. David um, yeah. at this time. No problem with that on the fifteenth. No, no, no. This is not. And Jacobo no. is here. Okay. So you so. have us. Mm. Well, you need to work hard yourself before you go, right? Yeah. Okay. But Jacopo will come? Yes, Jacopo, yes. And but if you sent your book, I, I can go over your work with Stefano. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you would just send a notebook. No, this is really, I mean, uh, we, we knew since, but... Uh,
Because it's, it's like the beginning of the school year. Is it Friday? Oh, just yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. I, I, well, just make like sure that Jacobo comes first, as usual, and bring the yes. bring this to, and I will. But you have really to work hard for the time. Yeah. Yeah, and I will, um, with uh, your father, I will go over everything that I would have gone with you yes. for the assessment and bring your records up to date. So make sure that satchel comes yes. with Jacobo, because okay. Mother will be in Chicago. So, yeah. how's that? I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, it's just one we of those. We just forgot. Things. We kind of forgot. Yeah. Because we always knew we just. Yes. Well, think about things it. happen. Yeah. 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 So, thank you for um, a nice uh, oh, recital. No, no, no. Yes, that I would have seen this.